needed to never exist. I shall say no more about it. For brevity, I shall refer to all deities, whether poly or monotheistic, as simply God. I'm also conscious that the Abrahamic God is, to put it mildly, If you arrive at a four-way stop at the same time as three other drivers, who goes first? This is part of the test? Uh, no, I got a coworker who's been stuck at one for over four hours. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know either. <laughs> We feel very good because you know this is our second to last show. Next week is the finale. What are you doing? Of our season, so we're here. Yeah, I know. Where is the time? But what we have is the evidence of every experiment ever done, telling us that these equations are correct. To overcome that, you need very, very strong evidence. Just one experiment, telling us how the soul is pushing around. In order for any hypothesis to be veridical, you need it to be true or false. It has to be falsifiable. There have to be things you can say about your hypothesis, which, if true would make it false. If, if we found a black polar bear, the statement all polar bears are white would be falsified, right? We haven't yet, which strengthens the hypothesis. Texas election worker, I'm Noelle King. And I'm Steve Inskeep. She says some voters are now, quote, trained to say that any true and sensible answer about what she does must in fact be a lie. Also as COVID... No way you're parked there. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so slow.
and just sort of shaking their head with utter incomprehension. But when, when we're spending money sending PhD... Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA I'm proud to be an American I'm proud to be an American Exactly, is it you're doing? I'm, I'm about to lose my mind. I actually don't know how. It's like the fourth left land hog today. There you go! So you shouldn't have been here in the first place, other than to make me go 10, 15 under the limit. You guys are in two lanes. I don't. Are you going left or are you going right? Oh, you're going left. Wonderful. Oh, come on, guys. It happens every day. They don't know what they're doing. It's every day. I see a rolled over truck. strategies, I want to take a two-minute detour to explore the origins of Show Don't Tell as a writing mantra, since it's not often discussed. In his 2004 book, Creative Writing and the New Humanities, scholar Paul Dawson... You can never see through the eyes of man! You must look at your life, look at your life through heaven!